Hi, I'm Darren Llewellyn. Let's talk about electrical stuff. What I want to talk about today is the all-important step of verification of isolation when you're going through lockout tagout. And not just verification of isolation, this is not a lockout tagout video, but the fact that you need to be wearing PPE when you're doing it. Now, a lot of people over the years have told me when I, you know, been on the road doing seminars and training at different places have said, you know, we don't need 70E, all this stuff. It's really nice, but we don't need it because we have a no live work policy. So we turn everything off. We turn everything off. Well, nothing's off until you prove it's off. So you have to have a trained person that knows how to use a voltmeter, knows how to test the voltmeter, knows how to test it afterward, knows where to measure in the circuit, knows what PPE to wear. And I don't go into all the steps, but everything that 7E requires for everyone doing live work, you have to wear it, know it, and do it, and follow the procedures when you're doing no live work. Because you can't do no live work without doing live work. You can't turn the machine off. You can't disconnect. You can't de-energize the circuit and without also doing live work because, let's just say that I, there's a disconnect over here and this disconnect says big blue machine. Well, I can see the conduit going over to the big blue machine. So obviously if I turn that disconnect off, that turns off the big blue machine. So I turn off the disconnect. Nothing's off yet. Nothing's off until I prove it's off. So every circuit has to be treated as if it's energized until it's been proven it's not. And that's when we achieve finally electrically safe work conditions. We have to de-energize and then prove it. So while we're proving it, and this is the, the reason for this video, we have to be following all the 70E procedures we have to be trained in all this. We have to be a qualified person to use a voltmeter and to go through all this. And we have to be using the PPE that the circuit requires. If it requires arc flash protection, if it requires arc rated clothing, if it requires whatever, we have to wear the PPE accordingly until we've proven the thing is off. So during verification of isolation, when you're proving that you've turned off the machine electrically, you have to wear the PPE. You have to follow the 70 procedures. So just having a no live work policy doesn't get you out of 70 or having to buy PPE or, or all of these things. So until you've proven it's not, it's on. So working in a plant one time, I was hired by a local company to put PLCs on a lot of equipment and and uh, do all these things. So I was an outside contractor working on this automated equipment. And there were two electricians working in the factory. They were factory people. They were, you know, employed by the factory. Well, one of them, the older one, we'll call him Sam, which actually was his real name. And we'll, we'll just call him Sam. All names have been changed to protect the innocent. Well, Sam was come over to me and he was mad as he could be just steaming, screaming, at this other younger electrician. We'll call him Bob. That wasn't really his name. We'll call him Bob. Well, Bob, he, according to Sam, had been asked by Sam to go turn off a certain disconnect that went to a particular machine Sam was going to work on. When Bob left and came back, said, yeah, I turned off the disconnect you asked me to. Well, Sam just stuck his hand in the equipment and received a pretty good jolt. Well, luckily, Sam wasn't killed or hurt super bad, but he got a big jolt. Well, I told Sam, you shouldn't be mad at Bob. This is on you. You didn't verify that that machine was off before you stuck your paws in there. You know, if you're going to ask someone to turn a disconnect off for you, or you're going to do it yourself, or you're going to hire elves to come in and do it, I don't care you double check, you verify that equipment and you wear proper PPE. 
while you're doing it. So verification of isolation for me is always the most important step, most important part of lockout tagout if you're an electrical geek, and Sam screwed this part up. I'm Darren Llewellyn. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, thank you.